prophet attitude was Ibn Khaldun who approached the content of mystic consciousness in a more critical spirit. So mystic consciousness means ilham and critical spirit of Muslims always did uh, treat uh, ilham and other uh, transcendental experiences in critical attitude because always dealt with them in a critical attitude because they didn't consider them as revelation so they to evaluate them on uh, in a critical spirit is to evaluate them on the criteria of uh, the, the infallible revelation so there's nothing <laughs> There's nothing new what Ibn Khaldun might have been doing here. However, the first, uh, so this thing, the first, seems to be liking for this first attitude. So the Prophet was the first, and that was the first uh, psychologic, psychological laboratory <laughs> in open air in Medina. The first Muslim will see the meaning of the value of the Prophet's attitude was Ibn Khaldun, who approached the content of the mystic consciousness in a more critical spirit, and very nearly read the modern hypothesis of subliminal, subliminal selves. <laughs> Subliminal self. So one of the thing about this book is to see, you know, Islam as as the pre preamble to the modern scientific civilization, and obviously you require a lot of misinterpretation of the Quran and the life of the Prophet and the Hadith uh, in order to do that. Um,